join kids hat family tia i guess we have come too far from our camp when will we go back I am feeling hungry. It will take some time to food. Those berries look yum. I think I can treat on them for the time being. Tofu, stop. Do you even know what those berries are about? They look yum to me. That is all I know. But they can be poisonous. You are in the middle of a jungle. Poisonous? Come, let me tell you a story on our way back to the camp. On a long sunny day, there was a fox walking in a desert. Hungry and thirsty, All that he could see was miles of sand and barren rocks. Oh, it is so hot. I need water badly. He kept on walking and suddenly he saw a well. Thank God. I finally found a well. Now I will no longer be thirsty. He ran and ran in great excitement. The moment he leaped on the well's wall to check water, he lost his balance and fell in the well. Help! Help! Somebody, please help me. This well is really deep. How would I ever get out of this place? Nearby, a goat was passing the well. When she heard the fox, she went to peep over the well. Hey fox! What are you doing inside this well? Oh goat, isn't it too hot outside? I just came into this well to cool myself off. Why don't you also hop in and enjoy this cool and refreshing water? Not even thinking for a second, the goat jumped into the well. Hey fox, you were right. This water is actually very refreshing. I could spend all my day out here. After some time, the goat stops and asks the fox, "Wait a second. How in the world will we manage to get out of this well?" "Oh, it's going to be simple. If you stand on your two feet and push me up, I can manage to reach to the top of the well and then pop out of the well." The goat once again without thinking twice does as the fox said. Hey fox, what about me? How would I get out? Ha 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 ha. I guess you have to think about it on your own. But I helped you getting out of the well. Who asked you to? You should have thought about the consequences before taking any actions. So one should look before one leaps. Yeah, Tofu, always. Because you never know what danger you might get into. And those wild berries, they might have been harmful for you. Eh, yeah, Tia. One should always check before taking a step further. Look, there is our camp and I can already smell the dinner is ready. Yay! Let's go. T 
Dia, how important is it to be clever? It is important to be clever, but one should use it only for good reason, not to hurt someone. Come, I'll tell you a story of a clever monkey and a crocodile who thought he was clever but was actually a big fool. The Clever Monkey Once upon a time, on a riverside, lived a monkey on a tree. The place was a paradise for him because just hopping on a stone, he used to reach a small island in the middle of the river, which was adorned by choicest and juiciest of fruits. In the vicinity of the island, there lived a crocodile couple. And every day they used to drool at the monkey, hopping in and out of the island. But the monkey was so clever that the crocodile couple never managed to lay their hands on the monkey. One day, the female crocodile said, Dear husband, I have a plan to nab this monkey. Ah, oh, none of our tricks have worked with this clever monkey. What brilliant idea do you have now? The female crocodile whispered in his ears and all he could do was laugh sheepishly. The next day, when the monkey was busy feasting on fruits on the island, the crocodile very silently went and sat on the stone. When the monkey was done with eating, he was about to hop onto the stone, when suddenly he realized that the stone is looking bigger than usual. He understood that it was a crocodile waiting for him. He called out to the crocodile. Is that you, Mr. Crocodile? No, no, it's not me. And the monkey thought, how dumb could the crocodile get? So he thought for a second and called out to the crocodile. Oh, you surely caught me this time. I'll make your job easier now. Just open your mouth and I'll jump into it on my own. The foolish crocodile opened his wide mouth with his eyes shut and waited for the monkey to jump. The clever monkey who was watching the closed eye crocodile hopped on the head of the crocodile and crossed the river. <laughs> you couldn't fool me this time either. By clear and clever thinking, the monkey managed to trick the foolish crocodile. Ha 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 ha! The crocodile was indeed a fool who got tricked by the clever monkey. Ya yeah, Tofu! And the moral is that we must think before we do anything. Like that clever monkey and not like that foolish crocodile. Tofu, were you eating those cookies that mum had asked you to have only after dinner? No, dear, I wasn't. I just came in the kitchen to drink water. Tofu, do you know something? A lie is not fruitful. How, dear? Come, I have a moral to teach you today. The Boy Who Cried Wolf Once upon a time, there lived a shepherd boy who took care of the sheep in the village. 
he was very dedicated to his work. Every day he used to take the herd of sheep to the top of the hill and bring them down by evening. But one day he felt really bored. I am feeling so bored. All the villagers work together. But here I am, all alone, taking care of the sheep and no one else to talk to. What should I do? Suddenly, he had an idea, a wicked one. He went over the edge of the hill and started shouting. Help! Help! There is a wolf! He is going to eat all our sheep! Help! Hearing the boy cry out for help, all the villagers came to the top of the hill to save the sheep. But reaching there, all they could see were calm sheep grazing the grassland. You silly boy! Where is the wolf? Why did you cry out for help? The villagers were very angry and left the place cursing the shepherd boy. <laughs> this was so much fun! Next day, the shepherd boy was back again to the routine of taking the sheep for grazing. And yet again, he found himself completely bored. Let's try that prank again! <laughs> The boy again went to the hilltop and started shouting. Help! Help! There is a wolf! He's gonna eat all our sheep! Help! Once again the villagers, after hearing the boy cry out for help, ran to save the sheep. But once again came back after being fooled by the boy. This is not right. You would have to pay for this one day. With no regrets on his face, the shepherd boy went back to his sheep. One day, when he was lying under the tree while his sheep were grazing, he saw some sheep running here and there. After looking closely, he saw a wolf approaching the herd. The boy suddenly ran to the edge of the hill and started screaming for help. Help! Help! There is a wolf for real this time. He is going to eat all our sheep. Help! Please help! This time, the villagers didn't pay any heed to the boy screaming. Let's leave him. This time too he might be playing a prank on us. The boy kept on crying for help but no one turned up this time. All he could do was stand there and watch his sheep getting killed by the wolf. Oh, I should have not played that prank with the villagers. Nobody believed me when the wolf actually turned up. What should I do now? I have lost all my sheep. The shepherd boy was never trusted ever by anyone. I am sorry, Tia. I did lie about those cookies and now I learnt a lesson too. Liars are not believed even when they speak the truth. I won't ever lie again. Good Tofu, you are a good boy. to do my homework, Tia? Tofu, it's dinner time. 
and you haven't completed your homework yet? I hope you know that your teacher will be really angry. I will do it after this cartoon, Tia. But please help me so that I can finish it fast. You have been watching TV all day. You should get up and do your homework first. My hand has been hurting since morning. I am giving it some rest. Also, dear sister, will you please get my bag and pencil box from the room? Excuses and more excuses. He should know his priorities right. Hmm. Did I forget it in school? What will I tell my teacher in school? You should be more responsible, Tofu. You are a big boy now. Anyway, complete the rest of your homework at least now and be more careful next time onwards. Tofu, let me tell you a story. In a land far away lived a hard working and kind trader. Mostly, he traded in salt. He also had a horse that was very lazy and always avoided work. The trader used him to carry sacks of salt from one town to the other. Here, let me load these sacks up and let's go to the town across the river to sell this salt. I am so tired today. Why do I have to work every day? I wish I could sleep throughout the day. But no, I have to carry these loads of salt and move. Come on, horse. Start walking. Cross that bridge. Until then, I'll pack some food for myself. The horse was crossing the river. Suddenly, he slipped and fell into the water. As he was carrying sacks of salt on his back, the salt got wet and dissolved in the water. So when the horse got up, the sacks on his back were lighter.
the horse thought to himself, Wow, this seems to be a good idea. Every time I dip in the river, the salt would dissolve and my burden could be less. I must try doing this more often. I hope Master is not watching. When the master reached the town to sell the salt, it weighed just half of what he loaded. Thinking it might be his miscalculation, he sold whatever salt was left and returned home with his horse. The next morning, he again loaded his horse with the sacks of salt and started to pack his food. The horse yet again started walking before him and made it to the bridge. I must try the dipping trick again before master reaches here. The trader got really confused as the sacks started weighing lesser every time. The horse purposely started slipping into the water every day so that the sacks became lighter. One day, the trader followed the horse. and hid in the bushes. To his surprise, he noticed the horse's new trick. Oh, that's so cunning. I must teach this lazy horse a lesson soon. So the following day, instead of salt, the trader filled the sacks with cotton and tied him to the horse's back. Out of his new habit, the horse purposely fell into the river. Oh no, no! What is happening today? What is going wrong? How are these sacks getting heavier? Oh, my back hurts! What? This time, as the sacks were filled with cotton, it soaked water and became heavier. The horse dipped again and again in water, thinking to drain the salt off somehow, but all went in vain. 
he somehow managed to get up and cross the bridge. He sat on the ground and panted as the sacks had gotten really, really heavy. The trader laughed at him and said, Horse, I am your master. This is your work. I work very hard and worship my work. I don't make excuses or find tricks to fool others and avoid work. I must teach you to never repeat this and avoid your work. The horse learned his lesson and never tried to avoid his work again. What a wise trader! Right Tofu? He taught the lazy horse a good lesson. Come, let me give you the big bitter medicine for your hand. But hey, I can see it's totally fine now. Maybe you have forgotten about the pain. Tia, I never had any pain. I just wanted to sit and watch cartoons. I was the lazy horse today. I am sorry, Tia. I am really worried about my teacher scolding me tomorrow. Here, take your books, Tofu. I also was the trader today. I just wanted you to learn a lesson. Now you should promise me that you will always do your work and yes, I will help you with your homework. Oh, thank you, Tia. Please, let's finish my homework quickly. I don't want to be lazy at all. I will always finish all my work before doing anything else. I promise you that. What in the world are you trying to do? I am trying to pluck those juicy fruits from this tree. <laughs> but do you think you will be able to pluck them? They are so high. Oh, I wish I could fly and pluck those fruits. I so wish I had wings. To wish is not bad. But one should be conscious about the consequences. Come, I'll tell you a story. The Tortoise and the Eagle A young tortoise was lazing around the riverbank, looking at the birds flying in the sky. He stared at them and started thinking out aloud. I wish I could fly like those birds, up high in the sky and watch the beautiful sceneries and beauty of the world from top of the world. Oh, I so wish that. Nearby, an eagle was sitting on a stone, listening to what the tortoise was thinking out loud and couldn't resist but ask. Why do you want to fly? You should be happy with what you are gifted with. I wish I could fly with no trouble of crawling on the ground. So say that you want to fly because you don't want to crawl, not because you wish to see the world from the sky. Anyway, what will I get in return for making you fly in the sky? I'll give you the riches of gold from the Red Sea.
So the eagle grabbed the tortoise in its claws and soared up high in the sky, making him see all the beautiful sceneries of the world. Flying higher in the clouds and closer to the stars, it was indeed a mesmerizing moment for the tortoise. While the eagle was flying over the riverbank, the rest of the tortoise were basking in the sun. Suddenly, the tortoise flying high up in the sky said, I wish my friends could watch me flying so high in the sky. I am sure they would get jealous watching me. What? Why would you want your friends to get jealous of you? I want them to see that I can fly and they cannot. It's such a nice feeling. What an evil friend this tortoise is, thought the eagle. With this, the eagle dropped him on the ground and asked for his treasure. Now give me my reward. <laughs> there is no reward. I was just kidding about the gold so that you could take me for a ride. And with this, the tortoise left. The eagle couldn't tolerate his insult and decided to teach him a lesson. So the next day, the eagle went to the tortoise and said, Hey, would you like to go for a sky ride again? Yes, sure, I would love to. The eagle once again picked him up and clenched him in his claws. The tortoise, while enjoying the ride, said to the eagle, Why did you bring me again for the ride, even though I dishonoured my promise of rewarding you? That's because, tortoise, you wish to make your friends jealous, but at my cost. And now I'll let you enjoy the free fall. The eagle let his claws loose and the tortoise went falling down. Screaming for help and flying no longer, he crashed on the ground with a thud. Thanks to his shell, he didn't get injured. Soon, his old friends surrounded him and said, Hey, our young friend, you wanted to see the world from high up in the sky. To dream big is not a sin, but to dream it at the cost of others is just not justifiable. I have learnt my lesson now. I should be thankful to God for what I am blessed with. It was my shell only that saved my life. I should be happy with what I have and also should not use others for my selfish reasons. I surely have learnt my lesson. Tia, now I know what you were trying to say. I learnt a lesson too. One should think about the consequences before one wishes for something. I should be happy with what I am blessed with. I should rather look for an alternative to pluck those fruits. Wait, I'll get a ladder. <laughs> Tofu, you learn things quite fast. For your favorite rhymes, stories, and more, join Kids Hat family. Subscribe here.